Okay, on an emotional evening here in W12, we're grateful that so many of Stan's former teammates could be with us tonight. And we're going to invite them back onto the pitch. These are our stars of the greatest ever QPR side of 1975-76. First up, please welcome out Phil Nutt. Also making 54 appearances for the club, Ron Abbott. Next up, this individual made 163 outings in the blue and white hoops. Please welcome back Frank McClintock. And our second highest appearance maker of all time with 484 appearances in the blue and white hoops, Ian Gillard. And another huge fan's favorite. He made 220 appearances He's here with his guide dog, Hannah. Give it up for Dave Thomas. You just move this over here. Okay, Stan sidekick. He made 206 appearances for the R's, Don Shanks. And finally, Mr. QPR, he made 352 appearances as a player, your legend of the loft, Jerry Francis. It's also worth pointing out that Dave Webb, Phil Parks, Don Masson and Don Gibbons were unable to join us tonight, but all have been in touch with the club to pass on their best wishes and condolences. Don, coming to you first, how have you found the last week? Everyone knows the close relationship you had with Stan. Yeah, it's been very difficult. We know that like um, Stan has had this for a while and um, you know he fought all the way, seven, eight years with us. You know, he was such a tough, amazing individual, and um, for everybody here, me more than most, because he was a very, very good friend, but all the fans at the Bush, they all love Stanley. He was the man, Stan the man, he was just wonderful, yeah. And I'm sure you've got some incredible stories you can tell about Stan, and some perhaps that you can't, but what is your standout memory of Stan for you personally? Well, there's loads of them, but like it was just the um, the casual way he was. You know, you couldn't believe this like mega superstar who'd have a cup of tea in Glad's Cap around the corner in the bush and just stroll around. He was just like not like your normal like mega mega superstar footballer. He had no fear. He'd just turn up. He had problems in life, but on the football field here at the bush, he just took total control. I could go down the stories with the superstars, I could go down the gambling stories, I could go down where we've uh, had a couple of nights in places we shouldn't have been. But like at the end of the day, we've got some great memories and wonderful stories. And I just like to think of Stan, the good times we had and um, the great amount of happiness he brought to everybody in football. He was an amazing man. And Stan's son, Carl, is with us this evening as well as his granddaughter, his niece, and his cousin. How much has the outpouring of love to Stan meant to you guys, but also to his family? Well, I mean, as I said earlier to Carl, like from day one, 
you know, they've looked after their dad. He's had this terrible condition, this illness, like seven, eight years ago. And he's lasted more than anybody who's had this in the football side of things. But they've been with him every single day. They kept us informed of his well-being. And, you know, we were expecting, as in, you know, the worst a couple of weeks, a week or so ago, when they just said, like the doctors have said, look, you've got to come to the hospital. He's not going to last much longer. But they've been there every day for him. I'm proud of the Bowles family. They've been amazing. And Jerry, coming to you, obviously it's great for you to be joined by your former teammates. I'm sure there's some great stories going on in there this evening. How emotional has this been for you? Yeah, very emotional. But um, I think that, you know, Stan lit up this stadium with his skill and his goals for seven great years. Um, we as teammates were privileged and honoured to play with him in a fantastic team, a fantastic squad of players with packed crowds, great support, great times. And um, he always said to me, QPR and the seven years there were the best years of his life. So, you know, I think we can applaud Stan for what he did for this football club and what he did for football in general. And just finally, just finally on Stan, he seemed to span generations. You've got young and old all singing his name tonight, which says so much about him, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great you can still see him on video, go online 45 years ago now. I mean, I remember when Messi came along, he reminded me so much of Messi. And Stan was doing it before Messi. Uh, so I think as, um, as teammates, I think like Stan, we want QPR to get back to where they belong in the Premier League. So we want everybody in the second half to get behind them because we need the points. Marty's done very well, got some great results. But I certainly feel we can win this in the second half. And that's important. Stan would want this club for the future to be back in the Premier League. It was great to have you here tonight. Give it up for Ron Abbott, Jerry Francis, Ian Gillard, Frank McClintock, Phil Nutt, Don Shanks, and Dave Thomas, and once more, raise the roof for Stambles! <laughs>